What's up guys, it's your boy Matt Pack 420 here, and today we're going to talk about more washed up musicians and their stupid mask and vaccine cult. Okay, so I've been seeing this shit a couple days, Sebastian Bach, this guy, he's another, another one of these 80s rock stars that had a peak 30 years ago and hasn't done jack shit since, uh, but for some reason they still have some sort of clout in the rock and metal community. Uh, that community is shrinking and dying as it is, and, and he's not helping grow uh, it because he's just cucking out to, to weirdo shit. I mean, for the love of God, this is the guy who has a song called Slave to the Grind, which is about not being a cog in the machine, yet he is over here acting as a cog in the machine, telling you to do what the machine wants you to do. It's mind-boggling. Uh, D. Snyder the same way. This guy, he has a song, We're Not Gonna Take It. But if I were to ever run for Congress or run for Senate, and if I were to ever play that music, he would come after me and sue me for using his music at a political rally. This is nonsense. Nonsense, right? The same dude that would win against Tipper Gore and, and claims that he got her panties all in a wad uh, when <clears throat> in actuality he accomplished really nothing and they still stuck the sticker on the album and, you know, there you go. <laughs> he should have been like Motley Crue and been like, hey, stick that sticker on the album. We're going to make more money. Anyway, that, that's that's the thing with these people. They're 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 not smart businessmen. Number one and number two. At the end of the day, they're just they're just cucks. Okay, they're gonna bend the knee and do whatever wants to stay relevant. Sebastian Bach hasn't done jack shit. Okay, but he's over here, you know, insinuating that oh, you know, if I tour, you know, you you better go get a vaccine to enter these events. Okay, it that's he was in this whole thread here. You can go through this thread. I'll link I'll link uh in the description here. Um. Uh, but basically, he's 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 over here advocating that uh, sporting events and concerts are going to be making people do the vaccine and do this other just checklist shit, dude. It's fucking nonsense. I like this person right here, you know, supporting local musicians and little venues and and not use Ticketmaster. I agree. Don't use Ticketmaster. That that that's that's a fucking bullshit site. And you know what? I actually went to go see Blues Traveler uh, last week. They were magnificent. Okay, it was in a smaller place. Uh, the, the, it was actually for charity. Uh, the money went to, uh, local high schools, uh, programs for music and, and arts and fine arts and other cool stuff. So that was cool. Uh, there was about like maybe 5,000 people there total. Like, and that was pretty full for that venue. Um, that venue is, uh, you know, it was, it was like 75% full. It's got a bar and, and, and food and everything. It's like a venue and a restaurant. It was like, it's a really cool place out there. And it's out in the boonies, right? And when all COVID was happening, man, they were still having local stuff going on out there. You know, they were they were having concerts where people were in their cars. And they were, uh, after after that happened, they had concerts people were in their cars. And then for that for a little bit. And then they did, you know, they, they did a really good job, actually, uh, when they had concerts and shows out there. They were limiting some shows and, and, and distancing and, and like they had um, chairs where you would sit down and there was like room between you and like they had like a concert where you'd bring your chair and then you would sit with your group and stay in your group and you'd have like areas uh, sectioned off for certain shows. It was actually pretty interesting how they did it and how they were able to survive. They did food. They did, the you know, even though the bar closed down, you know, they, they, they have food. There's really great food out there, but um, I'm over here going off on a tangent on that place, you know, so. I'm getting tired of these musicians going off and saying stuff that they wouldn't have said 10 years ago, okay? Something that would go against their ideology 10 years ago, okay? These people are fucking sellouts. They are. You know who's not a sellout, though? Glenn Danzig. He, he's over here talking about how uh, the uh, punk explosion would not happen uh, due to cancel culture and woke bullshit. Completely right. This guy has a song called Last Caress, and the lyrics of that song, <laughs> it's about killing babies and raping women. Uh but uh, he even wrote a song called Mother, which is basically a, a sort of protest song about, uh, it was during the Satanic Panic, or just after the Satanic Panic, it was in 91, just after the Satanic Panic, when when uh, Danzig and, uh, you know, actually uh, Misfits were uh, being touted as like a Satanic band just because of the way they looked and the way they dressed and, and the songs they wrote, like, you know, Last Caress and Green Hell. But the song Mother was actually a song about... Uh, how uh, it's actually a song about him telling, oh, don't telling, oh, mother, don't don't listen to my music, don't tell your kids not to to come over here and listen to me because I'm I'm bad and evil. You know, it's it's actually that's what that song's about. It's pretty pretty interesting, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll link this in the in the description as well. I'll um, I won't really. This is more of an opinion stuff. I'm really not going to read these articles. Uh, 
I'm just, I'm just, I had to do a video on how fed up I am of these fucking losers. Okay? It's annoying. Like I said, Sebastian Bach has a damn song called Slave to the Grind about not being a fucking cog in the machine, and here he is, a cog in the goddamn machine. Congratulations, Sebastian. You are everything you fucking hate. Okay? There's reasons why he got kicked out of Skid Row. Okay? He's a fucking asshole. Uh, the, the, and that's the thing, man. These people are so damn full of himself. Okay, you you listen to Sebastian Bach and you watch Sebastian Bach. The dude acts like he's fucking the king of everything. Okay, the dude is so damn full of himself. Okay, he had one good album and a few good hits, and then and then ever since then he's in jack shit. Okay, I'll be honest. All right, Skid Row without Sebastian Bach is garbage. Okay, and, and that's why Skid Row hasn't done jack shit either. Okay, they put albums out, but they suck. Okay. Uh, uh, if I ever see Skid Row again, it's only, it's only going to be Sebastian Bach with Skid Row. That'll never happen again because he's an asshole and they hate him. Uh, but anyway, his peak was still in 1991. <laughs> okay? I was two years old, man. Okay? And by the time I gave a shit about you, you were already, like, long, like, in in the fucking bin of nothingness. And I was listening to shit like Corn and fucking Limp Biscuit. <laughs> That's right. That's right. People were choosing Limp Biscuit over you. And I I bet you to this day, people still choose Limp Biscuit over you. Tom Morell is another fucking asshole. Now, he's always been a fucking communist idiot, okay? And and I know he's a communist because they always talk about the CIA and assassinations and people's movements crushing, you know, liberals, crushing liberalism in, in countries like Venezuela. Like, it's... Okay, is the CIA bad? Yeah. Okay, do they do stuff? Do they do they do do they do war crimes? Yeah, they do. Do they assassinate you know people? Yeah. But at the same time, you don't need the CIA to crush communism. That shit does it its own. Okay, that does its own. Okay, and you'd be fucking stupid to believe that any other country doesn't have war crimes, assassinations of state heads, and other fucking. All this other bullshit, okay? This isn't unique to the United States. This isn't unique to the CIA, okay? There, there's there's a whole lot going on, but this motherfucker always just finds a way to get it back to fucking why communism is the shit and why the government is bad, okay? Now Michael Trace is a fucking moron, but you're missing the entire point of his fucking of his fucking tweet, and and that is what drives me nuts about these fucking people, okay? They always deflect. And always come back to some other fucking point that makes no fucking sense about what you're fucking talking about. Drives me nuts. And that leads me to Rage Against the Machine, okay? That's another band that sold out, okay? If I, again, if I ran for Congress and I was playing Gorilla Radio or something, they'd come after my ass, okay? For playing their song because I don't have the same political beliefs as they do. Which, again, there's nuance here. I don't believe everything these people believe. Okay, but I listened to their music and I took ideology from them. Okay, there are some things I do believe that they told me about that I would not know about without them. But now they're fucking sellouts. Okay, again, they're slaves of their they're slaves of the government grind. Okay, they're 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 touting bullshit and nonsense. This guy's in a band called Rage Against the Machine, for God's sake, and here we are. <laughs> this is great. This guy right here, Rage in Support of the Machine. Hell yeah, Tom, the CIA must be defended, and I appreciate you standing up for them. That is hilarious. That, that, that is what we've become here. I told you, these people are fucking sellout cucks, okay? There's a reason why Rage Against the Machine can't do any music together, okay? Zach Della Rocha can't get along with Tom Morello and all the other guys because they're just too politically different. They're too far left, okay? <laughs> I got into it with some someone the other day. I told him that socialism, communism, and fascism are just gloves on the same finger on the left side. And they're like, no, they're completely different things. I'm like, yeah, see, they fight amongst each other how they're completely different even though they're on the same fucking glove. They're all the same shit. They're all leftist authoritarian ideologies, okay? You, we, can, we can nitpick here and there what's the difference, but they're still all authoritarians on the left. And these fuckers just can't stop fighting about who's far left, who's more far left than the other ones, Okay. Same thing with System of a Down. Okay, you've actually got a MAGA. You've actually got MAGA guys in that band. Okay, I believe it was the bass player who was a uh, supporter of Donald Trump. But regardless, Serge is too far left to, for the other guys to even make any kind of music. Okay, unless there's a war happening in Armenia, they're not gonna fucking do jack shit. And that's probably part of the reason why metal and music metal is dying. Okay, these bands aren't making any more music. 
They're not, okay? There's no one new that's worth the shit, okay? We got Greta Van Fleet, and that's it? Come on, man. They're nice kids and all, but they're not that... They're kind of boring. Like, there's no... There's no... I mean, there there is good music, okay? I, I, you you got to look for it, though. That's the thing. It's not... It's not going to be uh, played on the radio. You go listen to your local rock station, and, and there's not very much new stuff. It's all everything's like t from the '80s, '90s, and you know, early 2000s. It's there's, it's, it's pretty pathetic. Okay, and yes, there is new music. Okay, there, there's there are bands that are still doing their thing. Okay, there are bands that I listen to, and there are bands that are still doing their thing, but there's not a whole lot of new bands, and and the ones that that come up, they they suck. Okay. Uh, we got a problem with, uh, metal and rock music. Okay. It, it sucks. There's everything is, I believe rap is the most popular music and that sucks. Okay. No, I mean like the music, it sucks. Okay. I can go off on diatribes on how everything, how new music is just a sample of old stuff that was just a sample of old stuff. Like seriously, music is just a rehash of everything i mean you would be surprised to find out how many fucking songs are just pocket bells canon okay um a song that is hundreds of years old that is can be easily manipulated into something completely different and it's not just pocket bells canon it's all kinds of songs all kinds of things okay music has become boring and worthless and it's thanks to guys like tom morello sebastian bach and d snyder they sold out and the one of the biggest drivers of rock and metal is anti-establishment <laughs> and when you have your heroes and the people you looked up to and listened to for your entire life all of a sudden start touting for the establishment you just don't want to listen to that shit anymore you know anyway that's all i got for you guys today if you like what you see Lokic here like share subscribe i'm on twitter i'm on gab I'm on mine. Hit me up on social media. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.